on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Find all horizontal tangent lines to f of x equal to secant of x. Once you've done that, find where the slope of the tangent line is equal to square root of 2. So to start off, let's recall the fact about the tangent line. The slope is going to be given by the derivative evaluated at the point where you're taking your tangent line at. So we're going to take the derivative of our f. So derivative of secant is secant x tangent x. For a horizontal tangent line, that means the slope 0. So I want to know where the derivative is equal to 0 or where secant x tangent x is equal to 0. To make any sense of this, I want to take secant x tangent x and put it in terms of sine and cosine. So secant is 1 over cosine, tangent is sine over cosine. So I have sine over cosine squared. We want to know where that's equal to 0. Well, to get that equal to 0, I just have to check where the numerator is equal to 0. So we want to check where sine of x equal to 0. Well, let's recall on the unit circle, sine is equal to our y value. So if the y value is equal to 0, we're on the x-axis. And so that's going to mean we're looking at the angles 0, pi, and 2 pi. So that's going to be our answer. Let's take a look at the graph to check that. So our graph of secant is going to look like this, if we look it up, for instance. And you'll note, at every multiple of pi, that's going to be at the bottom or top of those bowls. So they're horizontal tangent lines happening at multiples of pi. So that checks out. How about if we want the slope of the tangent line equal to square root of 2? Then we're going to have to solve that same equation equal to square root of 2 instead of 0. So I know when is sine of x over cosine square root of x equal to square root of 2. So what do we need to do here? I need to try to get my expression all in terms of either sine or cosine, and then hope that we have some method to let us pull out the actual numbers. So I can push the cosine squared to the other side by clearing the denominator. That's going to give me sine of x equals square root of 2 cosine squared x. Now cosine squared x is also going to be equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So if I use that replacement, you'll note we'll have an equation that's entirely in terms of sine. If I let y be equal to sine of x, this is just something we can solve using the quadratic equation. So when I do that, what are we going to have? Our equation is going to be square root of 2 sine squared x plus sine x minus radical 2 equals 0. So it's going to be radical 2 y squared plus y minus radical 2 equals 0. And we can just put that in the quadratic equation, see what comes out. So when I do that, what comes out? We're going to have y equal to minus 1 plus or minus 3 over 2 square root of 2. That'll simplify to 1 over square root of 2 and minus 2 over square root of 2. Now if I multiply both of those top and bottom by square root of 2 over 2, they're going to switch over to square root of 2 over 2 and minus square root of 2. If I put back in sine of x for y, you'll notice the first one's familiar, the second one's going to be garbage. I can never have sine bigger than 1 or less than minus 1. So square root of 2 is roughly 1.4, so I can never have a sine equal to minus 1.4 and so on. So we're only interested in the first answer. So when is sine equal to square root of 2 over 2? Well, remember, sine is going to be the y value. So we're looking at these two points here in the unit circle in the first and second quadrant. They're going to be multiples of pi over 4. So our answer is going to be pi over 4 and 3 pi fourths. OK, let's take a look at the graph. So what we're looking for is, where is the slope equal to square root of 2? Well, to get an idea, what we're really looking for is where is that tangent line going to be equal to some positive number that's kind of like that. Well, if I look at pi fourths, we definitely have something that's looking like a positive slope. And if I look at 3 pi fourths, same thing. All right, now if this was drawn a little bit better, those lines would be parallel. But this is just to get a rough idea of what's going on. 